So Mike Roman. Now this is also a name that's come up recently. Mike Roman is a Republican operative who was responsible for overseeing election day operations for the Trump campaign. And also, wasn't Mike Roman someone involved in this um, attempt to have um, Mike Pence? Let's see. I don't know. He worked with John Eastman, I think. But you know what? I'm not sure. Let's just, I'm, I'm going to make sure that there's some writing about um, Mike Roman as well. All I know is that he's a Republican operative responsible for overseeing election day operations for the Trump campaign. Okay, so, but his name has been coming up a lot now. Let's take a look at him. Mike Roman. Signifier and the challenge card. <laughs> Conscious thoughts, subconscious thoughts. See, these are the plea deals, I think. Mm -hmm. Or desire to in that position. The past and then the short term. Okay. This guy. I wonder if this guy's lawyer is being funded by Donald. Because this looks like someone who's kind of missed the boat. So the signifier is the King of Wands in reverse, and it's challenged by the Five of Pentacles. King of Wands in reverse. Now we saw that with um, previous, uh, with Sidney Powell. This is an egotistical, arrogant, misuse of power kind of person. Someone who also is... Um, has ang extreme anger issues and there may also be something like um, a heart attack or stroke or something like that that they're at risk of but I think Mike Roman uh, maybe got himself into a situation where he let his ego do his thinking and you know when you're with a grifter and you act you act like someone who's kind of egotistical that's the grifters in as soon as you start acting like you've got all this extra pride and, and, and you're greedy and you're egotistical and arrogant, you're demonstrating the flaws that the grifter can grift you with uh, so that they kind of suck you in. This is a real risk of him losing um, everything here as well. So we've got someone who's very much at risk. The uh, political operative element appears here. So this is his fighting for his political viewpoint and ideology which might be a little wacky. And now deeper, though, we've got the desire to probably make a deal, I think, pondering his options. However, in the past, the hanged man would indicate that he's been blocked or um, somehow um, left behind. So I wonder whether or not Mike Roman actually is relying on Donald's lawyers or has lawyers that are really working on behalf of Donald, even though they say they're representing Mike Roman. It looks to me as though he's kind of on his own here and he's missed the boat and he's very much at risk, very much at risk. In the short term, we've got the hermit in reverse. This is fear of being alone, paranoia and, um, and bitterness. So let's keep going. The way he sees himself, the way others see him or the environment in which he sits, hopes and fears. Okay, and then the final outcome. So I don't think he's going to do very well. Um, the way he sees himself is the Six of Pentacles. This is about giving and receiving support and charity. So I think he would like to do a deal, but I think he might also be getting funded by Donald's. He, I think his lawyer is funded by Donald or something along those lines. He kind of I think he's trying to straddle the fence, but I think it's too late for him. And I think the too late bit sits here. The way he's viewed by others or the environment in which he sits is the tower in reverse. This is about stress, illness, pressure. Um, and I think he's under a lot of pressure to give up the goods as well. 
but I'm not sure that he's going to get off scot-free. He wants to be able to be victorious, but you see, I think he's also late. The egos with these people is they wait until the very last minute before they go in and see Jack. And chances are, by the time they get in there, they've been subpoenaed. It's too late because now they're no longer a person of interest. They've gone, they kind of, they might be a subject, but then they become a target. So I think he was hoping to be able to get something done here. What we have instead in his final outcome is this identity crisis and an upsetting message. So I actually think that he might also be someone to look out for on the ind indictments list. So John Eastman is definitely one of the lawyers involved in January 6 attempt to block the certification also related to trying to prevent Mike Pence from uh, doing his job as head of the Senate let's have a look the signifier this card's come up quite a lot this is what gets them in trouble is their egos and the challenge card okay yeah he's in trouble conscious thoughts subconscious thoughts the past yeah and then the short term okay so signify we've got this definition this is the ego and the misuse of power um, so you know in the involvement he is very much involved in this January 6 um, issue and uh, so I think that what Jack has is he has some very clear lines leading directly to John Eastman and he's in big trouble this is a self-imposed victimhood so when it comes to John Eastman, I think that John Eastman is someone who's going to end up going down. I can see it straight away. On the conscious level, we've got here the Six of Pentacles. This is about giving and receiving support and charity. I'm not sure how to contextualize that for this reading just yet. Um, on the subconscious, we've got the Hierophant. And this is um, probably also related to the January 6th conspiracy because this is sort of in the rebellion against established ideas which would be the government in the past change motivation this makes him very much a conspiratorial involver someone who was very much involved in the conspiracy so he had multiple points gave advice to lots of people coordinated lots of things and that's what it looks like right here in the short term he's balancing his prosperity so um, there might be a few things that he can give, but I think he might be a sitting duck. Let's have a look here. It, we'll only know when we put down the next four cards. So the way he sees himself, okay. The way others see him, see this card has come up a lot. Hopes and fears, right. Ah, oh, and then the final outcome. So I'm going to have to get some clarity on this one. The way he sees himself is the sun. This is about, um, in the context of this reading, exposure. I think he is exposed. Just because it's a nice, happy sun doesn't mean that it's always good news. Remember, I'm always saying the cards are neutral. The only time I really can't be neutral at all when I'm looking at these cards is when I see the devil in reverse because there just is no positivity. It doesn't mean that all hell's going to break loose, we're all going to die when the devil in reverse comes up, but it's the only card that really doesn't have any positive attributes when it's in reverse. Every other card in the tarot deck is neutral and should be taken in context. So often people call the sun the happiest, uh, best card that there is. But this is about exposure, and he is exposed. He's exposed for being a key conspirator who tried to overthrow the government, the ego has locked him in, where he basically is stuck in this cage that he's created for himself. So his self-imposed victimhood is his greatest challenge, and that's because he did too much. I think that he might be trying to offer up little crumbs of something, um, and so we'll see whether or not he's successful here. This is him trying to make a deal in his environment. 
And then the hopes and fears, I think um, this might actually be about um, being able to make a deal by providing shockers about some of the, the people around him. So this is a an inspiration to, to rival others. And because it sits beneath this conspiracy element here, I think he might be trying to throw others under the bus. Here, I'm going to need some clarity because it, it says, you know, community, not community, friendship and friendship and celebration and an easygoing kind of existence. Let's just see what this means. I'll put down three more cards for context. So we've got Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands in reverse, and then the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Cups is um, gentle, friendly, queen someone who is very compassionate who would be a very good friend the knight of wands in reverse is about a rogue flanderer prone to violence and fighting a cheater And then the Queen of Pentacles is an efficient, effective manager of prosperity. This is a bit of a question mark. So John Eastman. I do think John Eastman is in deep. What the cards are saying, though, is I think he's giving up the goods and he's got quite a lot to say. What I don't have, and it might be documented because this is really efficient as well. So he may have some documented evidence that he's handing over that actually is very effective in providing some kind of compassion, but also information on his co-conspirators. Now, have you noticed absolutely none of these people are showing virtues in any way that would help the other guy? They all seem to be turning on each other. So I managed to fit five full readings into this video. Um, don't ask me to do that again. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love knowing you're here. And I will do some more of these dirty deedsters in a future video. Bye.